Hey everybody, it's Craig from The Electric Trick. I just made, wanted to make a real quick video here and show you if you are buying comic books for collectability, there's a couple things you should look for. Alright, the first thing you want to look for is you want to see if it's a first print. On a modern comic, you look on the back on the barcode here, 001. Those three letters, at, three numbers at the beginning, they'll tell me that this is issue number one. The second one there tells me that this is the original cover. If there was uh, multiple variant covers, they would be numbered. So it would be uh, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. Uh, and this last one over here, that's the most important one, that tells us that's the first printing of this issue okay so that's that's what we want to see right there is zero zero one 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 um some people like variants and then you'll see a, a different number in the middle here you'll see a two three four whatever i've got some variant covers um some people prefer them some people dislike them but the other two ones are are the most important issue one first printing Another way to look to see what printing it is. is there's information on the inside. It's generally on the first inside sleeve. Right there, published by Image Comics. Alright. And somewhere in here. Somewhere in there. It's going to say first printing. I'm not exactly sure where on this particular issue. But, anyway, some things we want to look for if we're getting a comic for collectability. We want to check the corners. Okay, we want to make sure they're undamaged, which this one, of course, is. As is this corner, slightly damaged. <clears throat> Next thing you want to look for is you want to find those staples right down the center of the spine. You don't want them to be off to the side at all. Alright. You want to make sure all the pages are there. Center page. You want to make sure the staples are good and the center page isn't being ripped out at all. And just going to go through once and look for any folds, tears, rips. Alright, so this is pretty good. One staple is a little, the bottom staple is a little, a little off center. And both the corners have a little bit of damage. But it's in pretty good shape. If it would have been bagged and bored right away, it probably wouldn't have received any damage. Um, my local comic book shop just puts the raw dog without a bag and board in my little safe spot, which is weird. I always buy a bag. Well, they come with a bag, and I always buy a board. I wish they would just bag and board them for me. Maybe I could request that, and then I wouldn't see slight damage like that because I haven't read this yet and that and this fresh out of the comic shop so you want to check for those things if you're buying them on a newsstand and I'm probably going to go ahead and expect and inspect um, inspect my comics from now on and probably send them an email and ask them to beg and board them um, when they save them alright Thank you for watching. Support your local comic book shop. We'll see you next time.